Now, many of you already know color theory, but for those of you that don't, this will be a crash course. For the rest of you, a quick review. And again, I'm not going to get all color science on you here. So let's take a look at how we see color and why is it that there are exactly three primaries in our color system. In the real world, everything is actually black and white and shades of gray. There's no color out there in the real world. Our brains, our visual systems, create the color based on the different frequencies of light that shine in our eyes. This represents the visual spectrum. This is the range of light that the eye can see, from indigo on the left to red on the right. So while the real world simply has slightly different wavelengths of light going from one side of the spectrum to the other, our brains create these different colors in our minds. Now out here, the light continues, it's just that our visual system can't see beyond that, so to us, it feels dark. Now, in point of physical fact, our visual system only really detects three basic frequencies of light. Those in the blue, the greens, and the reds. And we can use this to good effect to create three primary colors. We use red to match our red sensor, green to match our green sensor, and blue to match our blue sensor. And the beauty is, from all of this, we can make any color in the rainbow. This is the basis of all the display devices that emit light, these three primary colors. Now, additive colors are used by display devices that generate colored light. Things like workstation monitors, TV sets, digital projectors, iPads, smartphones, etc. 